if melody is the essence of music, timbre is the essence of synthesis. Explore with me some of the many ways to bring your synth timbres to life. Welcome to Harmonic Animation. Previously in Harmonic Animation, we've looked at what is harmonic animation. In part one, we looked at a filter sweep using a filter to animate the harmonics. And we looked at pulse width modulation with various ways of animating the pulse width. In part two, we took that further, looking at LFOs, envelope generators, sequencers, sample and hold, and keyboard CV as sources of control voltages for those different animation points, the different destinations. In part three, we're going to look at some additional destinations in detail. One of the best ways to get a fat sound from a synthesizer is to detune two oscillators. And that's what we've got set up in the 2600 for this patch. Let's take a look at the details. First of all, we've got two oscillators, the sawtooth out going into the mixer of the filter, but the filter's wide open, and so it's going straight to the VCA and out. We've got the trigger from the keyboard going to the external clock in on the sample and hold. We'll look at that in a minute. But the other thing I want to point out is that we've got a very precise uh, voltage source here going into the detuning of oscillator 1. So first of all, let's listen to it in very, very close tune. What I've done is take the sample and hold with noise input triggered from the keyboard and routed that into a pitch modulation of VCO1. So rather than changing the pitch, detuning from this fader, we're detuning with every press of the key from the sample and hold. As long as this chord's in here, that normal patching from the sample and hold into the pitch is overridden. Now, let's take that out so that we can hear the effect of the sample and hold. This effect is very like the ensemble effect that you'd have with a choir or a couple of singers singing together or two instruments playing together and let's listen to that in the context of a sequence Another way to animate the harmonics is to mix different waveforms from the same oscillator. And we're going to look at the four outputs from VCO2 and mix them together. Here's the setup. The filter's wide open. We've got sine, triangle, pulse, and saw. And it's going out straight through the VCA. In fact, the VCA is wide open. We don't even have to touch the keyboard. So here's the sine. Here is the triangle. Here is the pulse in a square wave. And here is the sawtooth. So if we had a square wave, very hollow, 
and we wanted to add a little bit more low end, we could do that with adding the sine wave in there. Another good technique is if you're using a lot of filter, and particularly with resonance, you're going to lose the low end with a high resonance setting. You can route this sine wave directly out to the VCA so that it will reinforce the low end. If we take the sawtooth and add in a triangle, we're going to get more low end at the fundamental. We're also going to get more of that third harmonic because remember, in a triangle, like in a square, the second harmonic is going to be missing. And those are some examples of harmonic mixing. In this example, we're going to take two waveform outputs from the same oscillator and crossfade them and control it with an envelope. So we have the sawtooth output, the sine wave output from VCO2. We're using this crossfader module and the control comes from the ADSR. It's being processed a little bit here. And the output goes straight into the VCA. So let's take a listen to what happens when we just play a note and the sustained voltage is all the way down. We hear just the sine wave. As we raise it, we crossfade into the sawtooth wave. And for instance, to do that automatically with the envelope, And that's the harmonic animation example using a crossfader with two different waveforms from the same oscillator. We get effectively a filter effect and we can control the timing with an envelope generator. Another way to animate the harmonics of a VCO or a VCF is to use audio rate frequency modulation. And that's what we're going to do. We've got a square wave from VCO1 going into a filter and it's somewhat muted. And we've also got the default routing of VCO2 sine wave into this fader. And when we pull this out, we'll hear that audio rate frequency modulation again. That's without the modulation. It's really a dramatic difference. And that's as far as I'm going to go with FM in this part three. Another way to implement harmonic animation is with the ring modulator. And we've got the square wave going into the ring modulator. And it's being modulated by VCO2. We have carefully set this level. And we've also carefully set this level. What I'd like to do is that's what it sounds like with no modulation. And this is what it sounds like with the modulation. As we change this, in 
that's ring modulation. To close out part three, we'd like to revisit one of the pulse width modulation exercises and add a little music to it. Thank you.